Welcome rock star, Coach Nisha here with Team Betty Rocker, bringing you a full body hit burn workout. We are gonna have so much fun today. So you're not gonna need any equipment except some space to move, your water course, and an optional elevated surface if you like to use that for planks or downward dogs. So with that said, let's get right into this. We are gonna start on the mat for some core work. So bend your knees, come down onto your back, and engage that core, belly button is up and in, pelvis is slightly tucked so that your back is flat, making gentle contact with the mat. Extend your arms beside your ears and roll those shoulders off the ground. Extend your legs and we're gonna do some scissor kicks. So alternate right over left and left over right, keeping that core engaged, that the shoulders off the ground. You can use your arms to support your head if your neck is feeling a little strain, just don't pull on your neck. And if you're losing contact of your lower back, and the mat, you're welcome to bend your legs and alternate tapping those toes down. Because the longer your legs are, the more your core has to support. So of course it's gonna be more challenging. You're always welcome to come back to this move. Keep it up for five, four, three, two, one. Great work. Gently roll it over. Meet me standing for some full body extensions. Let's get that stance, nice and strong, standing tall, engage that core, pelvis slightly tucked, and you're gonna shoot those hips back into the squat, drive those heels, squeeze them to go to the top, and keep that up. You're welcome to get your arms involved, reach them towards the ground as you squat, and up by your ears as you stand. Just being mindful that your chest isn't falling, keeping everything nice and lifted. Those knees are tracking in line with those toes. And for the last 10 seconds, you're welcome to move on to some jump squats, landing lightly. Knees are still tracking in line with those toes for five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Whew. Take a couple deep breaths here and move on to our next move, which are some knee drivers. So plant that right foot, really stand strong so that you can balance on that side and send that left foot back a little bit. Send your arms inside your head like you're holding a giant watermelon and you're gonna drive that knee into your chest Break that watermelon over that knee. Really keeping nice, strong stance, that right leg. Really trying to break that watermelon, keeping that core engaged, that chest is up. For five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch sides. Plant that left foot. Feel nice and steady on it. Set that right back. Whoa, pardon me. <laughs> Right foot back a little bit, extend those arms, holding that watermelon in, break it over that knee. You may find your balance a little easier on one side than the other. Mine's a little more challenging here. That's how you get stronger. Do the hard stuff. All right, we're gonna go for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Let's take a couple of deep breaths here. Walk it out a bit. And we're gonna move on to our second round of jump squats with a little twist. So, we're gonna shoot those hips back into that a shallow squat and jump to pivot to the right, pivot back to the middle, pivot to the left, and keep that up. It doesn't have to be a super deep squat here. But you still want to shoot those hips back. So good, y'all. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Great work. Feel that heart, heart rate rising. We're going to move on to our next move. Downward dog or plank. So you're welcome to do this down on your mat, or you can join me elevated. I'm gonna move this, move my cat on top of it. All right, so bend your knees, plant your hands and step back to that tall plank. Get a nice engagement, core is engaged, your back is flat, pressing evenly the finger pads and halt, and send those hips back into a downward dog, keeping that core strong. You can pedal out your legs a little bit here, Make sure you're breathing deep. 
It's a nice little break from that cardio. All right, so you're gonna alternate between those two moves. So float it forward to a strong plank, hold it there for a moment, and send your hips back into that downward dog. Come forward, and back to the downward dog. You have that moment to feel the strength and the length of these motions. Feels so good, nice little stretch in between all of that. You're welcome to have your legs bent a little bit in that downward dog. If you have tight hamstrings, you can want to stretch the legs and not the lower back. Great work. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Amazing. Bend your knees. Come to standing. Moving on to our final move in the circuit. It's another round of jump squats. This time, you on the left side of your mat, standing tall, core engaged. Shoot those hips back, keeping the hips low. We're gonna sidestep over to the other side. Jump squat, land lightly. Sidestep over, jump squat, keep that up. Your knees are actively tracking along your toes. Even as you sidestep, keep that chest up, that core engaged, breathing. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Circuit one down. Take a moment, have a little water, take some nice deep breaths. Whew. I have my fire going, it is so toasty right there. All right. Let's get going, y'all. Get into that core move on the ground. So, bend your knees and lay down flat. Gaze that core. Flat is making you contact with back is making you contact with the mat. Extend your arms, extend your legs. This time we're gonna flutter kick it. So you're lifting your shoulders off the ground, flutter kicking as close as you can to the ground while maintaining that contact with your lower back and the mat. Again, you can support your head. You can bend your legs. Take some of that weight off of your core. Wherever you're feeling strong today. You got this. 10 more seconds. <laughs> oh, that's burning. That's five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees. You pull a piece to your chest for a second as well. And gently roll it over. Can you be standing? Or do some good old fashioned jump squats. So standing tall, engage that core, shoot those hips back, jump it up, landing lightly. Knees tracking line with those toes. Chest is staying elevated. Keeping that core engaged. So your body's jumping up like an arrow. Keep going. You're always welcome to go to just body squats if you need. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Oh my, deep breaths. We're gonna move on to our knee drivers. So, plant that right leg. Feel nice and strong and steady on that side. Extend your arms beside your head and break that watermelon over that left knee. Really driving that knee in your chest, standing nice and strong on that standing leg. Keeping that core engaged to support this entire movement. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Breathe a little bit. We're gonna switch sides. Plant that left leg. Send that right leg back a little bit. And let's go. Break that watermelon. Kinda of wish I had watermelon now. Sounds so refreshing. Keep it up, y'all. Three 
set as you need. Just want to stand really tall and strong for that left leg for three, two, one. Woo. All right, onto those jump squat pivots. Remember, just a little bit a shallow squat, but still sending those hips back. Here we go. Send them back, pivot to the right, pivot to the left. If this is a little too high impact for you today, you can always just step the foot back instead of jumping. Whoops, give it up, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Legs are burning. Shake it out. Move on to those down dogs. Plank down dog. So bend your feet, your legs. Plank your hands, the shoulders. Step back to that plank. Get a nice strong foundation. Send those hips back. Shift it forward. Stand it back. Nice deep breaths. Keep that core engaged. Bending those legs to the top of the down dog if you need. Pressing evenly to the finger pads and palms. Ten more seconds here. And three, two, one. Bend your legs. Come up to standing. Wipe your sweat. And we'll move on to the final move of the circuit. Side step jump squat. Keep me on the left side. Shoot those hips back and jump squat. Shuffle it over. Jump squat. Keeping those hips down as you're side stepping. This is what's going to give a nice activation in your glutes. Driving through those heels. Ten more seconds here. In five, four, three, two, one. Woo wee! Let's take a quick little stretch here to breathe deep. Breathe in. Reach your arms up. You can pull it over to the right. Get a nice side body stretch. Come back up to the middle. Switch sides. Still breathing deep. And bring your arms back down. Grab a little water. We'll move on to our final circuit. Whew. All right, how you doing? Breathing heavy yet? <laughs> you know I am, you can hear me. All right, let's move on to our final circuit. Meet me on the mat. We're gonna get started on our final core on the floor. <sighs> Engage that core, lower back, knee, dip in contact with the ground, pardon me, your mat. And lift your shoulders, extend your legs. This time we're gonna do mini lifts and lowers. Get as close as you can to the ground without your lower back losing its contact with the mat. Again, you can bend your legs a little bit, take some of that weight away, support your head, through to the mat strain. Just keep those shoulders up. Keep that core engaged. Give it your all. This is our last one of these types of core moves. You got it. And we're done at five, four, three, two, one. Roll it over and meet me standing. We're gonna get those jump squats in again. Ready? All right. Shoot those hips back and get to it. Jump land lightly. Track those knees and along with those toes. Driving through those heels. 
keeping that chest open, core engaged. We're not here for much longer. Whew. Legs are on fire. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my Lord. Whew. Check out those legs a little bit. Bring it to those knee drivers. Okay, go ahead and plant that right leg strong. Reach those arms up and get to it. Break that watermelon. Breathing deep. You got this. Only one more side. And we're done with these for today. Woo. Catch your balance. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch sides. Taking a couple of deep breaths. Slide that left leg. And let's do it. Really drive that knee powerfully up. You're getting your arms involved here too. Let's really get your heart rate up. 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Deep, deep breaths. We're gonna move on to jump squat pivots. All right, <laughs> just gonna breathe a little bit more in here so I can talk to y'all. Walking it out. Here we go. All right. Jump squat pivots. Sit those hips back. Hips to the right. And down to the left. <laughs> Keep it up. Deep breaths. Ten more seconds. Knees trying to get low with those toes. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> okay, back to sweat again. Let's come down to those planks downward dog. So bend those knees, plant the hands, step it back, strong plank, send those hips up and back, downward dog. And keep alternating. Checking in with your form. Each time you switch, nice and strong. Nice flat back in that plank. Deep breaths. I'm so thankful for this move right now. Keep breathing. Ten more seconds. And five. Four, three, two, one. Bend the knees. <sighs> Take a moment and let's go on to those side step jump squats. Final move for today. Okay, left side of your mat. Keep those hips back. Jump squat. Step it over with your butt low. <sighs> Driving through your heels the whole time. Even when you're sidestepping, you're sitting back into your heels, so you can really feel it in those glutes. Ten more seconds here. And five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yes, that's it, y'all. You're welcome to meet me sitting for a moment. Take some deep breaths. Have some water. That was an intense one today. Wow, okay. Well done, y'all. Take your time here. Cool 
it down a bit, stretch it out. I know you're probably gonna really need it in your legs today. Let me know how you feel today, what you liked about today's class, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.